You must be Shirley Wells? Yes, and you are? Thomas, Michael Thomas. Mommy, the mysterious caller is here. Thomas, Yes, I heard the name Michael Thomas. I'm pleased to meet you, Mrs. Wells. So you are the man who has pestered my life? Well, I'm sorry if you think so. It was never really my intention. Well, let's see what proof you have to offer. Yeah. My ID card? Yes. Mm -hmm. 35? I thought you were older than that. Yes, yeah. Voices, like faces, can be deceiving, Mrs. Wells. My driving permit? You're driving a long time now. Almost half my life, and not a single accident is yet. Life insurance policy? Yes. Mm. <laughs> Quite a lot. 300,000 for a single man? Well, actually, I was married. So you are a divorcee? Yes. I, uh, I caught my wife with a boss. Too bad. And your job? Yeah, who's coming up? I'm a car sales rep. Still I'm puzzled. I can't understand why you want me to take my husband to court. My fees. I am a private detective. Private detective? Is that the way you fellows operate? Not always. People usually get in touch with us, but often we get onto the trail of something and inform the other party. If she, or he for that matter, is interested in knowing the truth, we normally follow up the case. But how do you know so much about my husband? Oh, we have our assistants and contact men to pass on information to us. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I don't think I'm interested in going to court and all that. Too much scandal. I won't be able to stand up to that. Well, that's entirely your decision, Mrs. Wells. There are hundreds of couples living apart. They prefer that to divorce. Just come to an agreement, that's all. What do you think, Shirley? All right, Mr. Thomas. We are ready to go. By now, they must be reached our walk. Oh, but I, I, I almost forgot to show you something. Please, don't be too shocked. Forget that by Something you'll never forget. Look, I spend only a week in London. And every time I hear the word London, I think of myself walking through Trafalgar Square and falling down in all that pigeon mess. <laughs> I always <laughs> like to kiss you your mouth wide open like this. Why don't you kiss your wife like that? We haven't kissed in years. She has a nice feeling like a dead fish. Gosh, what a horrible thing to say. What would have said the same thing about me? No, never. We are made of different stuff. <laughs> woman is woman. Same this, same that. No difference. Yes. All mango is mango, but it is the same. Arthur, you smart boy. So what you tell me? 
Yo estos cuentos de Beach Party, de Sensi City. El ser es hoy nuestro hoy, and I live here. Since we come there, a couple of beach house, and then even come out here. He's a lucky fella. Hmm. All the talk about crab and cooking on the beach. Not my fault. The other fellas come there away from the well. All the old fellas are too worthless and tricky. The first thing a man must learn to do is how smart he is. Since there's no beach party, I was hoping to do the break dance for all you tonight. Let's go back to the guest house. No, I remain right here. So rush things now. I like it right here under the moonlight. Let's go in the shade on the east of my trees. No, let's stay here. With Ati, you notice that car over there under the coconut trees? Why do they come out and bathe if they did it? You think they could see us? Yes. We in the light and they in the dark. But they bother with that now. Suppose it's a gang of rape men. No, man. Look, I'll keep my eyes on them. As soon as they come out, we move in. Let's love it by the time. No, wait. Why did they leave? Look, somebody coming out. Now, too? After, yes. let's go back to the beach house. Look how they're moving off, scared of something. Yes, yeah, his daddy and Carl for sure. That lying dog. Before he left, he said he had to play in a chess tournament with some friends. It seems as though there is no man in the world you could trust. Hmm. Well, ladies, you all have seen enough. Shall we go? I should follow them where they're going and make a scene and finish up in the whole thing. That nasty old man and that dirty little face. Calm yourself down, Mrs. Wells. When you get back to the town, you'll decide what you want to do, okay? Well, look what I come to now. It's all up to ah. you. You can call the tune now. Let's go.